Welcome to Yoga with Safi Lu. Today I'm sharing deep release. You'll need a tennis ball, strap and blanket for this class. So go ahead and grab those tools and get ready to dig deep. We'll start standing today as we begin to work with the feet. Taking a few moments to feel the feet against the mat. And go ahead and bring the tennis ball just below the left big toe and roll it along the inside of your left foot towards the heel and then back towards that left big toe switching to the second toe rolling down towards the heel and then back to the second toe moving towards the middle toe making your way down the middle of your foot towards the heel and back to the middle toe then the fourth toe along the foot to the heel and back and then the fifth toe along the foot to the heel and back you can take a few moments to roll the tennis ball around the sole of the left foot, just lingering in any sweet spots, noticing the left foot and then moving on to the right. Same way, big toe to heel and back to big toe, as slowly or quickly as you want to, second toe to heel and back. Noticing the way the tennis ball feels as you roll it along the foot, middle toe to heel and back, fourth toe to heel and back, and then fifth toe to heel and back, then taking time, finding the sweet spots. Maybe you hold the ball still or maybe you roll around a bit. Just noticing what feels good. And releasing when you're ready. Observing the way the soles of your feet feel. And then press the balls of your feet and the heels into the mat as you lift the arches up towards the ceiling. Pressing into the balls and heels of the feet, lifting the arches up. Keep going at your own pace, lifting the arches by pressing down into the balls and heels of the feet. Just noticing the way the arches of your feet feel as you root down into the toes, balls and heels of the feet. Releasing this arch lift, just wiggling your toes and coming to sit, knees together, toes tucked and hips on the heels. If this is too intense for your toes, you can lift your hips up and find support with your hands. And just observing the toes in this toe stretch. You can continue to work on this toe stretch or either find a comfortable seat or take this other pose releasing the tops of the feet by bringing the tops of the feet onto the mat, walking your hands back towards the ankles and then lifting the knees up as high as you can. So rooting down into the hands, staying active through the core and reaching down into the feet. Deep, slow, steady breath wherever you are. And we'll all meet in a seated position with the legs forward. Continuing to show the feet some love, spreading the toes as wide as you can and then bringing them back together. Spreading as wide as you can, each toe away from each other and then bringing them back together. Next, we'll point the toes down and in towards the mat and then release them back up towards the ceiling. So pressing the toes down and in towards the mat and then releasing. 
pressing them down and in and releasing down and in and releasing then we'll make circles with the ankles both in one direction and then switching into the other direction just making circles with the ankles pointing the toes reaching the heels back and then thanking your feet with any gesture that you're physically able to do a kiss a lick high five whatever thanking your feet for providing you with support balance and connection and then we'll move on to the calves so bringing the tennis ball at the top middle part of the left calf slowly roll the ball down towards your ankle and then back up the middle of that left leg towards the top of the calf and then bring the tennis ball to the inner part of the calf rolling down towards the ankle and back up towards the inner left calf coming to the outer left calf rolling down to the ankle and back up to the outer left calf and just as we did with the feet take a few moments to roll around and find any sweet spots any spots that are particularly tense where you want to focus some extra attention and when you're ready switching legs tennis ball to the center of the right calf keeping the leg as relaxed as you can rolling the tennis ball along the center of the right lower leg towards the ankle and back up so avoiding the back of the knee just getting to the top of the calf and stopping then getting to the outer right calf rolling down keeping the right leg heavy so just allowing the ball to do all of the work and then coming to the inner right calf and again rolling around finding the 10 spots that need extra love just focusing your attention there of course keeping the breath deep and slow and steady when you're ready go ahead and set the tennis ball off to the side reach the legs forward but keep a bend in the knees reach the heels forward as you point the toes back towards you and keep reaching the heels forward as you point the toes out to the sides of your mat then come back to center and then reach the toes in towards each other as you reach the heels out towards the sides of your mat coming back to center reach the heels forward point the toes back towards the knees keeping the knees bent then releasing that stretch coming to stand as we take a warrior one variation stepping the right foot forward and reaching the left heel back left toes point to the sides of the mat at a 45 degree angle so keep reaching back and down into the left heel releasing the left calf as you root down into the right foot for support now we'll switch sides with the left foot forward right foot back at the 45 degree angle keep pressing down into the right heel releasing the right calf Keep bruising down into the left foot. Just observing the sensations in the right calf. Releasing this warrior one position as you come to sit. And we'll begin to focus on the hamstrings. Starting on the left with the tennis ball at the center of the left hamstring. 
allowing that left leg to be heavy roll back towards the base of the hamstring just above the knee and then making your way back up to the center all the way towards the sit bones and coming to the inner left hamstring making your way down and then back up again and then the outer left hamstring making your way down and then up and then making your way over to the right leg center of the right hamstring from the sit bones all the way down to the top of the knee and back moving at your own pace outer hamstring and then inner hamstring moving up and down the muscle then we'll come to the IT band on the left so rolling the tennis ball along the outer left hip towards the top of the left knee and we'll take it on the right side from the hip to the knee on the side of that right leg When you're ready, releasing the ball and grabbing your blanket, placing it at the base of the knees or just below the knees and reach the hips back as you lift the chest forward towards the knees or towards the toes. Just finding release in the hamstrings here. So focusing on the upper legs as you reach the hips back and reach the chest forward. Bring the knees out to the sides, still using the support of the blanket. And then continue to reach the hips back as you reach the chest forward. Notice the sensations in the inner thigh. Keeping the breath steady as you reach back into the hips and lift the chest forward. Releasing when you're ready, setting the blanket off to the side and coming back with your tennis ball as we begin to work on the glutes. So coming into figure four pose, bringing the left ankle onto the right knee, using the right foot and hands for support, bring your butt onto the tennis ball and just begin to roll around on the fleshiest parts of the left glute so making circles maybe holding a position with the ball for a while just finding or searching for and finding tension and then using the ball to release that tension and when you're ready taking it on the other side right ankle on the left knee lifting up to bring the right glutes onto the tennis ball and then rolling around releasing tension remembering to keep the breath slow and steady and maybe this feels really good for you or maybe if the pain is too intense of course back off you are in control of how much or how little pressure you apply to the tennis ball as you release any tension that you find. Noticing how it feels when you roll the tennis ball around the upper outer quadrant of the glute muscle.
releasing when you're ready and taking that same figure four position so left ankle on the right knee lifting the chest up towards the left shin using your hands for support observing the glutes and then coming to lie on your back in that figure four position so bringing the right knee in towards your chest as you reach the left knee forward away from your body being gentle with your body and staying present with your breath Releasing when you're ready, taking the figure four position on the other side, right ankle, left knee, left knee moves into the chest, right knee moves away from the body. Just observing where you find any release, where you feel any release. Just noticing what feels good in this posture. releasing when you're ready and slowly and carefully making your way back up coming into that seated figure four with the right ankle on the left knee and the chest lifting up as you root down into the fingertips behind you keep lifting the chest up as you observe the sensations in the right glute easing your way out when you're ready as you slowly make your way into this cow face pose or gomukhasana right leg is below the left with knees bent and stacked on top of each other and the feet flexed maybe the ankles are close to the hips or maybe they are a bit more forward just finding a way to stack the knees comfortably for you and then reach the hips back as you reach the chest forward in a gentle forward fold keeping the focus on the lower body just noticing what sensations come up and easing your way out to switch legs bringing the left leg under, right leg on top maybe the knees stack you can have a block in between the knees for a bit more support if the knees don't get this close to each other and then having the feet flexed continuing to protect the knees as you reach the hips back and lift the chest forward beyond the knees steady breath keeping your focus on the body if there's any pain or discomfort, just ease out of it. So lean away from the knees. When you're ready, easing out. And guiding the knees in towards the chest for this reclined cow face pose
releasing when you're ready coming up to hands and knees before taking a pigeon pose it's a bit different we'll walk the right foot forward with the knee bent and reach the left foot back towards the right corner of your mat so your right leg is as parallel the right shin is as parallel to the top of your mat as you can get it and the left leg reaching back at a diagonal continue to reach your chest forward as you root down into the hands and keep the breath steady you can use a block below the right hip for support keep reaching down into the tailbone or guiding the pubic bone forward and when you're ready taking it on the other side with the left leg forward right leg back at a diagonal can flex the left foot to continue to protect the knee left shin can be as parallel to the mat as possible keep reaching back into that right foot towards the left corner of your mat right hip rolls forward left hip rolls back as you stay present with your breath and your body slowly easing out when you're ready coming to sit reaching the left leg out in front of you keeping the right knee bent take hold of the left leg with the right hand and reach it out and forward as you twist towards that left hip so turning the belly rib cage and chest towards the left hip as you reach the left heel forward turning the toes in towards the right side of your mat rolling the left shoulder back so the chest is open and finding support with the left hand on your next inhale slowly unraveling from your twist to face front and switching legs so left knee up and in towards the chest right heel reaches forward to the top of your mat right toes pointing over to the left side of your mat as you twist so from the spine turning the belly rib cage and chest over towards the right hip rolling the right shoulder back maybe you look over the right shoulder if that feels good for your neck And then inhaling, coming back to center. Taking your tennis ball as you come to lie on your belly. As we begin to focus on the tops of your thighs or the quads. So starting on the right, bringing the tennis ball to the center of the right quad. From the knee, making your way up to the top of the hip. And back down the middle towards the top of the knee. Coming to the inner quad, making your way up towards the hip from the top of the knee, and then making your way back down before coming to the outer right quad. Taking a few moments to roll the tennis ball up, down, and all around that right quad. Just finding those spots that need extra attention. If there's pain, of course, release this tennis ball massage. But if you're able to lean into it, and find release go ahead and explore the muscle being sure not to hold on to any tension that you release from the quad 
in any other part of your body. So notice if you have tension in your hands or jaw or eyebrows. Just allow the rest of your body to be relaxed as you release tension from your right quad. When you're ready, release and come to the left side, dividing the left quad into three just like you did on the right, making your way up from the top of the knee towards the top of the hip and back down through the center. And then coming to the outer left quad as slowly or as quickly as you want, moving your way up to the top of the hip and then making your way back down to the top of the knee. Making your way up the inner left quad from the knee to the hip and back down to the knee and then rolling around finding those tense spots keeping the entire body as relaxed as you can and staying heavy in the left leg as you use the tennis ball to release the tension from the muscles and when you're ready slowly coming up onto hands and knees setting your ball aside and stepping your right foot forward coming into a low lunge on the right side so you can keep the left knee below the left hip with the toes tucked or you can walk the left knee a bit back keep reaching the right knee forward and sinking the hips in towards the mat. You can also have the back toes with the tops of the toes against the mat, but I find that I have more stability with tucked toes. When you're ready, bend that left foot, bend the left knee, bringing the left foot in towards the left hip. You can take hold of the left foot with your hands or you can take your strap and wrap it around the left foot bringing the strap over your shoulders and using the strap to pull the left foot in towards the left hip as you reach your elbows up the right knee continues to reach forward staying above the ankle releasing the strap when you're ready coming down settling into a lizard variation so you're going to turn the right knee out to the side and come onto the baby toe side of the right foot. So lifting the big toe away from the mat. The left toes can be tucked or flat against the mat. Keeping the hands on the inside of the right foot, keep reaching the hips forward. So pubic bone reaches forward as you lift the chest forward, keeping the neck long and shoulders relaxed. When you're ready, stepping back, reaching the left foot forward as we take this sequence on the other side, coming into a low lunge with the left leg. Right toes can be tucked or flat, left knee reaching forward but staying above the ankle. Pubic bone is forward. Just staying steady with the breath and observing the lower body. When you're ready, slowly coming down to take hold of your strap, bending that right knee, taking hold of the right foot with both hands if you can, or using the strap over your shoulders to guide the right foot in towards the right hip. 
while still keeping the tailbone down or pubic bone forward. Just noticing the sensations at the front of your right leg or your right quad. Noticing the sensations in your arms if you have the elbows reaching up as you pull into the strap. Making your way down and into the lizard variation. Coming onto the baby toe side of your left foot, peeling the left big toe away from the mat. Both hands inside the left foot, right leg reaching back, either with toes tucked or flat against the mat. Easing the hips into the mat as you reach the chest forward. So maintaining support in the low back by guiding the pubic bone forward. And then stepping back onto hands and knees before coming to sit. As we begin to focus on the spine, starting on the left. So starting from the base of the spine, making your way up the spine with the tennis ball, all the way up to the top of your shoulder and then making your way back down. Focusing your attention on the mid-back and shoulder. So starting with the mid-back, just massaging up, down and all around the shoulder blade. So the space in between the shoulder blades, underneath and above, just either finding movement or maintaining stillness. As you lean into the tennis ball on your left side, finding balance with your hands and feet. You can do this exercise against a wall if being on your back is uncomfortable. And slowly make your way up. Taking it on the other side with the ball on the right side of your spine. Making your way up from the side of your spine to the top of your shoulder on the right. Moving as slowly as you can or as slowly as you would like. And then making your way back down and massaging around the shoulder blade. So the space between the shoulder blades on the right Avoiding any direct contact with the spine. Massaging below the shoulder blade and above the shoulder blade. Staying where you find a spot that feels good. But not staying too long in any particular spot. Staying focused on your breath as well as the sensations in your muscles. Releasing when you're ready to roll the tennis ball along the upper shoulder muscle on the left side or the deltoid muscle. So just rolling the tennis ball along the top of the shoulder. Staying with the breath as you notice the sensations in this muscle. Moving fast or slow. Staying still if you choose. Switching sides when you're ready. 
massaging the top of the right shoulder leaning into the right shoulder and allowing the ball to find and release any tension in the muscle and notice the quality of your breath make sure that you're not holding on to tension anywhere else When you're ready, slowly make your way up to sit, taking the tennis ball with you as you find a comfortable seat, and begin to massage the left side of your neck, using the tennis ball making circular motions up and down, and then you can just roll the tennis ball up and down the length of the left side of your neck. Just releasing tension before taking it on the other side, massaging the muscles on the right side of your neck, taking a circular motion with the tennis ball, gently tucking your chin in towards your chest, continuing to release any built up tension on the right side of your neck. Still focusing on your right side, take the tennis ball in your left hand and begin to massage the top of your right shoulder in circular motions or in any motion or direction that feels good to you. And then taking it on the other side, right hand massaging the left shoulder with the tennis ball. Releasing when you're ready to sit up nice and tall. And slowly bring the chin in towards the chest and lift the chin up towards the ceiling and reach the left ear to the left shoulder and then coming back to center before bringing the right ear to the right shoulder and then back to center steadying your breath and then lift up into eagle arms left underneath the right elbows cross maybe the palms meet keep lifting the elbows up as you relax the shoulder blades down keep lifting the chest up as you reach down into the mat with your tailbone steady breath as you release the upper back releasing the arms when you're ready maybe taking a shoulder roll before taking it on the other side with the left arm on top right underneath crossing at the elbows lifting the elbows reaching down into the shoulder blades lifting up through the fingertips noticing the sensations in the upper back as you breathe releasing with a shoulder roll again And then bringing the right hand across your chest, you can hook the right arm with the left bent at the elbow, using the left hand to bring the right hand closer in towards your body. Just noticing the sensations in the right hand. And releasing to take it on the other side, left hand across the chest, right hand Gently guiding the left hand closer in towards the body. Deep, slow breaths. Shoulders relaxed so the neck is free. And slowly releasing with a shoulder roll again. Coming into half cow face arms on the right. So bending the right elbow, bringing the palm of the right hand towards the right shoulder and then using the left hand to take hold of the right elbow 
guiding it back and in and taking it on the other side left elbow bends left palm against left shoulder or shoulder blade using the right hand to guide the left elbow up and back releasing when you're ready to take the full cow face arms with or without a strap so the right hand the elbow goes up and back left arm the elbow goes down and in you can use the strap and slowly walk your hands closer towards each other or if you have hold of your arms pull into your arms as you reach the elbows in opposite directions keeping the chest lifted and neck long maintaining that foundation as you root down into the hips slowly releasing taking it on the other side so left elbow goes up and in right elbow down and in as the hands move towards each other either on your strap or if you have hold of your hands maintaining the grip as you pull your hands away from each other and move the elbows in opposite directions check in with the low ribs if you notice them jutting out just gently and mindfully bring them back in towards the body releasing the strap when you're ready and then reach the left hand forward and bring the left fingertips in towards the body so you can use your right hand to help you bring the fingertips in and then bring them in towards the midline of the body and back out and then out to the outside of your body towards the left hip then up and in towards the left shoulder up and in towards the neck and release to bring it up and in towards the left hip again taking it on the other side right fingertips down and in towards the right hip and down and in towards the pubic bone and then down and out towards the right outer hip and then up and in towards the right shoulder releasing and then bringing it up and in towards the neck releasing and then bringing your right fingertips up and in towards the outside of the right shoulder and releasing the hands making fists and rolling the wrists in one direction and then the other and then making your way onto hands and knees knees below the hips wrists below the shoulders go ahead and point your fingertips back towards the knees maybe you lean the hips back as you reach the wrists forward just observing the sensations in your wrists not going too far back with the hips slowly coming forward and bringing the backs of your hands onto the mat maybe sending the hips back again as you reach the wrists forward again fingertips still pointing back towards the knees coming back to center and then making your way to sit on your side so left side first, left hip onto the mat, left elbow down onto the mat, just below the shoulder. Move the right arm up and over as you reach down into the right hip. Just noticing the right side of your body. Creating length on the right side, but still maintaining openness and space on the left. long neck chin slightly tucked and slowly making your way to hands and knees before sitting on your right side 
right elbow down below the shoulder left arm up and over towards the top of your mat reaching down into the left hip finding length and space on the left side of your body keeping the shoulder blades down so the neck is free and comfortable staying steady with the breath and then making your way up onto hands and knees slowly in your own time taking a few cat calls when you get there so inhaling looking up as you send the tailbone back and up exhaling looking down and in as you bring the middle of your spine towards the ceiling inhaling opening the chest exhaling rounding the spine inhaling the hips lift back and up exhaling the hips reach forward inhaling coming back to center and as you exhale bring your right hip towards your face and your face towards your right hip inhaling back to center exhaling face to left hip left hip towards your face and inhaling coming back to center you can walk your knees a bit back but keeping the knees below the hips Go ahead and extend the arms all the way out in front of you as you come into puppy pose. So you can find a version that works well for you. As you bring the pubic bone forward supporting the low back, maybe you allow the chest to reach in towards the mat, bringing the forehead or chin onto the mat, whichever feels best. And keep reaching the arms forward, pressing down into the fingertips. finding a steady breath here before releasing this pose coming to lie on your belly in sphinx pose so tops of your feet against the mat pubic bone reaching forward into the mat elbows reaching down staying below the shoulders chest reaching forward as you lift up and keep your gaze forward just finding a gentle back bend in this sphinx pose keeping the chest open and shoulders relaxed slowly making your way back into child's pose so sending the hips towards the heels the knees can be together or apart the hands can stay reaching forward or maybe you wrap them around your body to release the shoulders Just modifying as you see fit to make child's pose comfortable for you. And when you're ready, slowly make your way up, coming to lie on your back with knees bent, heels towards the hips or sit bones, pressing into the soles of your feet and shoulders. You can take hold of your ankles or keep your hands at your sides. Bring the pubic bone up to the ceiling as you lift your hips up into your bridge pose. Pressing down into your feet, knees above the ankles. Reaching down into the shoulders, keeping a nice long free neck. And slowly making your way down from bridge pose. You can take another bridge if you choose. Lifting the hips up, reaching the chest towards the chin, but pointing the chin towards the ceiling. Maybe you find a different variation for your hands. Elbows bent, fingertips towards the ceiling, or interlaced below your hips. Just being aware of your breath in this bridge pose. And then making your way down onto your back and slowly bring the soles of your feet together allow your knees to lower to the sides of your mat bring one hand on your belly one hand on your chest when you're ready slowly extend your legs out in front of you releasing your hands at your sides 
just noticing the way your body feels in this moment. Releasing any control over your body and breath. Simply allowing yourself to be as you lie still on your mat. Allowing your body to absorb all of the benefits of your practice today. You can congratulate yourself on a self-care job well done. And I'll leave you to experience your savasana with this quote from Buddha that says, you yourself as much as anybody else deserve your love and affection. Staying focused on your body and breath as you embrace stillness in this pose. Begin to deepen your breath and welcome gentle movement back into your body, wiggling your fingers and toes, maybe turning your head from side to side and taking a deep stretch before bending your knees and bringing the soles of your feet against the mat. and then coming to lie on your side. Just noticing the way you feel as you move away from stillness. When you're ready, 
making your way up to sit. Spending a few moments with this renewed breath and body. Just taking a few deep, slow breaths in and out through the nose. Nourishing your body, mind and energy on an inhale and allowing your body to release what no longer serves you on an exhale. Sealing your practice with your hands together in prayer. Giving thanks for these moments spent on your mat. And I thank you for sharing your practice with me and for allowing me to share mine with you. From my heart to yours, I wish you peace and presence.